I've just gotten sick and tired of living life the normal way. The way you're supposed to, to go out and to get a job and do things legally. Which is why today I've decided to make you a gang pack. I mean the criminal pack. I mean whatever The Sims 4 lets me because this isn't a mod. I just, I, a gameplay. I've decided to go out of my way and stop brushing my teeth so it looks like grills. Even though I don't have grills because I can't afford them. And I've started my own gang. The gang obviously consists of me, their leader, Eliza Pancakes, Bob Pancakes, and Janelle. And together we are the Sixth Street Ninth. Get, get it? Sixth. Street 9, 69. And today I'm gonna show you a day in the life of the 6th Street 9s and all of our operations. <laughs> Everybody in our gang has their own duties and things that they have to do. For example, Eliza is responsible for killing anybody that gets in our way and also cutting all the plants that we grow. That They're just plants. Like, literally, they're just bonsai plants. I don't know what you're thinking about, but hey, get your head out of the illegal gutter. Aside from running day-to-day -day operations, my job is to work on the juicers, where I just we just make juice. That, that's it, like literally juice. I don't know what you're thinking about. Again, you guys always have to think about things in like a very illegal way it's literally just apple juice i'm literally making apple juice and the fact that it's not fda tested is what makes it illegal bob pancakes is one of our enforcers and his job is just to sit there and look pretty and by pretty i mean look tough as nails i want him to look like he could absolutely snap your spine in half just by looking at you and we just have him look around for any police in the area oh yeah we are situated in willow creek by the way uh the real estate was surprisingly cheaper here i feel like we really drive down the price to be honest with all these mosquitoes and stuff everywhere i mean it's not the best territory but come on what rival gangs are gonna rival us in willow creek and finally there's janine um what does janine do uh, mostly just sits here and watches television we've tried to give her some more responsibilities but she always ends up messing it up in some form so uh we just stick her in here you know put some cocoa melon on what no 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 oh my god oh my no no this is not supposed to happen who are these ones yeah no sorry gamers you can't just sit here and mess with my head cannon like i literally had my own kind of lore going on and you guys really messed it up so yeah sorry it just it can't happen right now bob can you please take care of your clone as well we really don't need this bob bob where are you going i i gave you a job all right there we go yeah, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta clean up this mess now. It happens all the time. Bob and Bob now despise each other. I completely understand that. Anyway, let's just continue on. This is Bob's job. Okay, Bob did his job and they did a great job. Why am I shocked? <laughs> the fruitcake lady is like running around like, do you still want it? Can you at least put the fruitcake down before you leave? No. Yeah, and Eliza's straight up just going back to her job. I mean, honestly, that's what I love about Eliza. When you really give her responsibilities and something to actually think about and aspire to other than being a housewife she gets the job done Ugh. anyway i don't think we're gonna be needing this anymore life as a gang member is extraordinarily difficult not only do you have to do your day-to-day -day tasks like it's some fucked up game of among us you also have to gain tons of notoriety without gaining too much notoriety so the police don't come after you and i feel like we've been doing a pretty good job of that no way never mind there's a cop literally right outside of our gang hideaway janine can you please leave and look less suspicious actually could you look as suspicious as possible so that you know you get killed instead of anybody else oh. all right buddy okay no bob bob why didn't you shower bob bob no i've just started and we're already getting arrested i didn't ask for this i did not expect this to go down this way at all where's eliza if eliza just continues doing her job in this room there's no way the cop is gonna see her right she's just doing her job i mean it would be nice if the cop didn't come and see these plants not because they're illegal they are literally bonsais where even is the cop where did he go and nobody like is my Finding me looking after the juices right now, not alcohol, it's juice. I think the cop is gone. He like ran off somewhere. Oh no, oh look, there are two of them now and they both have guns. Don't, just don't go over there. There's literally nothing suspicious about that building. Look at this lovely neighborhood. It, it blends right in. It, it, the neon signs are kind of a vibe. Like, yeah, okay, maybe they're vibing, but are you really gonna arrest people for vibing? Vibing, vibing, vibing. I'm actually quite happy that so far Eliza has just straight up gotten away with murder. Like, that's just, she's just vibing. Vibing, vibing, vibing. 
The other difficult thing about managing a gang is having to manage your rivals because there are many gangs in the world. It's not just the Six Street Nines. As much as we wish that were the case, there are other gangs. And our gang, like any other gang, has rivals. Who are you calling? You literally have no friends. A police cruiser has been dispatched to current location. Janine, did you just call the cops? Janine is literally, she just snitched. Oh my God, you were so not cut out for this. Uh, Eliza, I, I hate to bring it to you. What's your emergency? You called two of them? Eliza, just keep pretending you're a botanist, okay? You're just a flower arranger. Everything is gonna be just fine. Just don't look suspicious. You're not even covered in blood. To be honest, you just snapped other Eliza's neck. That's a pretty clean kill. I love that the cops are just watching her smoke bubbles, by the way. I know they're just bubbles, but you all know what it's supposed to be, and it's kind of funny. Look how pissed I look. This is real life me right now. Just so mad at Janine. Yeah, but or not. Or uh, actually, we're very happy about it. I hate Sims. Okay, you know what? I think we need to go to the park for a second. Maybe someplace out of the way, and you might be like, why are we doing that? Trust me. Where? What's the most, like, out of the way place possible? Probably Henford on Bagley. I have something I need to do. Here we are pretty much in the middle of the woods in a completely different country as well, mind you. This is completely out of the way. You know, if a tree falls here and nobody's there to hear it, it didn't actually fall, apparently, because that makes sense. I'm sorry, Janine, but you know what they say? Snitches get stitches. But she just pushed me away. Excuse me? No, 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 no. How did you escape death? Deathly grass that was close. I felt my soul leaving my body. All right, you really do want stitches then, honey. You really want stitches? There you go. Oh my god. That was so fucking cool. You never looked better, bestie. All right, we just gotta file a little bit of paperwork and then we can go back to our duties. And bye-bye. And literally no evidence has been left other than a massive pool of blood and a buried body right next to it. We can go home now. Oh my god, Bob's back. Oh my god, welcome. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Eliza's showering in there. You're gonna have to wait your turn, buddy. Two murders she's gotten away with. I'm actually very intimidated by her. Now, while Bob was away in jail, he found out that our old hideout has been taken over by another gang, and now we have to go and get it back. Of course, after we uh we finish up this fizzy apple juice, it's very important. So we're gonna have to head on over to our old hideout and see if we can take it back. Here we are in San Maishino. This used to be our amazing hideout. It was like this junkyard, and it was perfect because it was super central to everything here. Like, this is where all the crime happens. It's a city, baby. It's like the only place where crime is socially acceptable. And Bobby here has insider information letting us know that there was a gang that took it over. So I'm just gonna nonchalantly go knock on their door and just say hello and just see who these new guys are. Man, I really miss this place. Oh, they're all the way over here. This is the rival gang? I mean, they must be a gang, right? They're like wearing matching outfits. Oh, that one's farting. She's got tattoos. Like, that one's really buff and shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a gang. Or construction workers. They look very much like construction workers. Eliza, don't do anything too rash now, honey. Eliza. Eliza. Eliza, why are you shooting a man in the sky? Oh my god. Eliza, come on. That was really unnecessary. Bob, no, they're just construction workers. Come on. We oh my god. I'm starting to think these guys didn't want to be in the gang. They just want an excuse to kill people. I don't even know what to do about this situation anymore. I feel like my sim is incredibly pissed about this. Are, are those burgers? Listen, I know I'm vegan, but I've had a really fucking tough day. You know what, bestie? You go for it. Have a great day, honestly. Sometimes your marriage just really makes you stressed out and you gotta let it go oh no what a shame yeah you know what maybe the the gang life the thug life was not made for me i'm just gonna go back to making some youtube videos maybe in them maybe being a capitalist slave is not the worst thing that could possibly happen